Hi and welcome to my channel. So I've got some good news today. If you're somebody who is interested in moving to the UK to work in the farming industry as well as the horticulture sector. So this is um, this involves really jobs like working obviously in the farms, picking fruit, vegetables, flowers. As you know, this is a seasonal worker job. So the time is almost near when recruitment for this particular jobs is always happening in the UK. And so obviously there's been a massive update from the British Prime Minister regarding this particular sector for this year, 2023. So that's what I'm going to be covering in this video. So if you're new to my channel, obviously, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate your time. And look, if you're new here, I do have a free newsletter where if you're part of a newsletter, I send information directly to your inbox so that you're never reliant on the YouTube algorithm and you have all the info that you need. So if you check the comment section below, you see a link to my newsletter. All you need to do is drop your name and email and you're part of that newsletter. Also, if you've got any questions, anything that I don't cover in this video or any other personal things that you don't want to necessarily leave here on YouTube, you can use that newsletter. You see my contacts on there and then you can contact me that way. Eventually on my days off from work, I will get to, you know, reply to those messages. So check the comment section below and do join so that I send those updates directly to you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you do want to hit subscribe, turn on that notification button so you're the first to be notified every single day when I drop a new video on here. But what are we talking about today? Seasonal worker visa, working in the UK, in this particular sector, getting visa sponsorship to move to the UK, you know, in this particular sector. Because working in the farm, fruit and veg, this is something that was previously done by people from the EU, you know, European countries. But since the UK left the EU, it's been impossible. Well, it's been very, very difficult for these people to just get in the car and come here like they used to do. So now they are reliant on just offering visa sponsorship for overseas candidates to move to the UK and do this. And so the prime minister has made a massive announcement you know regarding this and before i even continue let me tell you the best thing about this particular pathway i'm going to also tell you eventually um one thing that you need to know about this particular visa but the best thing about it is that they normally provide accommodation which means that if you're coming to the uk to work you know as a farmer um picking fruit veg flowers then they always provide accommodation, which means that if you're, you know, when you get on the plane from your country, you land in the UK, you normally get somebody pick you up, you know, from the airport and they drive you directly to a house where you'll be staying. The best thing also is that many of these people that work in this sector, they get transportation from where they're living to where they're actually working. So it's not like other jobs where you need to find your own way, get out of the plane. You're like, oh my goodness, where do I go? What's happening? There's none of that. It is a very well organized and a very well coordinated sector. Also, it's got one of the cheapest visa fees to move to the UK. It's just about 200 pounds. So again, that is not much at all. So if you're moving to the UK through this pathway, it is a very, very cheap work visa to have so that's the biggest advantage that it has also you don't need any out you don't need any degree you don't need any experience you don't need any prior knowledge because obviously you're just picking fruits you know what i mean it's an easy job it's just saying you harvest this you put in here whatever it is that's an easy thing so if you're keen on this pathway i want you to leave a comment in the comment section and say whether you've got your passport or not because the only thing you need is to have your passport and if you're planning to come to the uk this year for this season and you haven't got your passport, then obviously you're not serious about this whole journey or this whole traveling thing. Because having your international passport is the first thing that you need to do if you're thinking of going to any country for that matter. Because when good opportunities like this come up, they're not going to be waiting for anybody. So leave a comment in the comment section and say, have you got your passport? Are you considering this pathway? What are your plans? So like we said, those are the advantages that this pathway has. And oh, by the way, if you don't know who I am and you're new here and I'm your ping about all of these things. So my name is Melvis. Um, I'm a nurse myself. So obviously I'm an immigrant <laughs> here in the UK. You know, I started my journey working as a carer in a nursing home. And then I studied nursing as an international student in the UK. Um, absolutely fell in love with this country. I love the opportunities that there are, which is why I came here in the first place. And so I have progressed to like the most senior nursing position when it comes to clinical nursing, which is working as an advanced nurse practitioner 
for the NHS. I am invested in career progression. I live and breathe career progression because if you're an immigrant and you come to the UK and you're not progressing your career, like for example, this particular opportunity that I'm sharing, some of these opportunities are meant to get you into the room. They're meant to get you into the system. They're meant to get you to the UK. It is not that I'm sharing that fruit and veg that you're going to be working in fruit and veg for years or for your entire life. No, I'm only sharing this as something to get that stepping stone to get your foot into the building, if you understand what I mean. That's why I share some of these opportunities. Otherwise, it's not a long-term plan. It is just something that you do quickly. You get to know the system fast and off you go to something bigger and better. Because with the opportunities in the UK, you should not be doing this more than one season. That's what I'm trying to say. So I have a private career coaching program where I support with career progression in the UK, work from home jobs, how to earn more money, you know, those side hustle ideas. Visa sponsorship opportunities that you're not going to spend loads of money, but you're just going to get that guidance with the process. How do you position your CV? Who are those offering visa sponsorship? What are the best jobs to go for? What are the best employers, legit employers that you should have? So if you check the description box below or the about section of this YouTube channel, you'll find a link to my private coaching program. Once you join, then we have first that one-to-one -one conversation. Who are you? What are you trying to do? What's the best pathway? forward then obviously you're going to have access to the program itself you get to meet other members you get to share ideas we have weekly live sessions it's quite a lot to the program so you know if you're keen on career progression your nurse your carer you want to get into healthcare and you're thinking how should i go about this you know again we know that there are some sectors in the uk that have so many opportunities not only for career progression but also for visa sponsorship and so that's what the program is all about, getting you to the next stage, getting you to the next level in the UK so that you're not just grinding every day, but you're actually, you know, progressing and feeling that it's been worth it being in this beautiful country. So I'm looking forward to seeing you, obviously, in that program. So back to the fruit and veg, um, you know, industry and sector. What has the prime minister said? So the prime minister has announced and confirmed that for this season, there's going to be 10,000 visas extra. So they're going to give 10,000 more visas than they did last season or any other season for that matter. And talking about this, you may be start there thinking, Melvis, but how many visas did they give last season? So last year, for example, you know, this particular sector was allocated 45,000 visas, but only about 35,000 visas were actually issued. And the reason for this is that one of the companies that actually recruit in this sector had their license to recruit revoked, which means that they took away their ability to recruit. And the reason for this was because there was a lot of discrimination on how they were recruiting. But most importantly, they were charging ridiculous amounts of money from innocent people, <clears throat> excuse me, to move to the UK through this pathway. And so when the government found out, like they do with any other visa pathway, they took away the license. So because of this, they did not recruit enough people that the country needed to be able to do all of the harvesting and everything on time. As a consequence of this, therefore, prices have gone up. So high now, you know, prices for fruit and veg have gone up by about 25% in the UK. So that is a lot, you know, that is huge, which means that obviously fruit and veg is good for good health, you know, balanced diet and all of that. If you don't have people eating healthy and people are sick or they're unhealthy, obviously it costs the government more. So what the prime minister has decided to do is up the number of visas this year from 45,000 to 55,000 and they're urging those companies that do have the ability to recruit to recruit more people this year so recruitment is not yet open for this as i record this video right now but it's going to be opening soon because i've done previous videos on this this particular sector has a specific timeline which means they don't recruit all the time they recruit over a specific period of time and the recruitment closes until the next time that's how it works they don't just recruit the whole year round so if you want an update as to when this recruitment starts and any changes or which con which company is going to get the contract, because I'm following through to see which company gets the contract to recruit overseas because they haven't allocated the contract yet, I'll obviously get you informed. So if you join my newsletter, which you'll find a link 
in the comment section below. Then when recruitment starts, I'm obviously going to alert you and inform you that recruitment has started. I'm also going to say which company has had a contract to be able to recruit staff because this is not one of those sectors where random people will come up and say, oh, I'm recruiting for the fruit and veg industry. It doesn't work. Because the government only gives the contracts to a handful of companies and those are the only companies that are allowed to recruit in this particular sector. So last year, there were only three companies that were allowed to recruit. I've also done videos on this channel about these particular three companies that are legally allowed to recruit in this sector. So if you're struggling, you've got any questions, please do leave them in the comment section below. If you know anyone that would benefit from this information, please do share with them. Because like I say, some of these opportunities are meant to get you into the room, get you into the building, get you to experience the UK and all of that. Again, one of the things that I must tell you about this particular visa, it is not a permanent UK visa. And that's why I said it is a seasonal worker visa, which means um, it's not a permanent visa. Um, it's a seasonal worker visa as per the name, which is why recruitment does not go on all year round it's only during specific periods of the year and that's the summertime because once that recruitment is over and the season and the fruits have been harvested and all of that then obviously the season is over so you do want to have that in mind but there are lots of advantages like i've already mentioned it's an opportunity for you to come to the uk have a look at the place have a feel of the area get that work experience because it is relevant uk work experience and then decide for yourself what is it that you want to do? How do you want to proceed? How do you want to move forward? What else do you want to do with yourself? That's what you need to be thinking if you're going in for this particular visa. So, you know, as soon as there's more information regarding um, the company that gets that contract, I will definitely share it with you. But as of now, it has not yet been awarded as of the day that I'm recording this video. So I'm keeping an eye. But the good news really is that there's going to be 55,000 visas this year instead of 45,000 for last year but obviously we know that only about 35,000 people actually physically moved to the UK through this particular pathway and so hopefully if you're keen and you're considering this I do hope that you know you've got the requirements you've got your passport you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below if you need that personalized individualized tailored advice then I've got a private coaching program where I support with all of that to make sure that you 100% get to succeed, to excel, and to thrive here in the UK. I've done videos on this channel about different UK visa pathways, visa changes, you know, side hustle ideas that you can start. Who is offering visa sponsorship? Please do check them out. If you haven't subscribed, you do want to hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification button, so you're the first to be notified every single time when I drop a new video on here. Keep watching, and I'll see you in the next video.